Andrew, you're recognized, sir. Lawmakers traveled to South Miami as part of the 2011 redistricting public outreach tour. Nearly 150 area residents joined members of the House and Senate at Florida International University to share their thoughts and opinions on the redrawing of Florida's political boundary lines. I appreciate the fact that they are actually doing this. Uh, I hope, as many of the people who were in there do, that they are taking their voices to heart and their information back with them. More than 60 attendees testified before the two dozen lawmakers providing specific guidance to members as they prepare to draw new maps that will define the boundaries for state house, state senate and congressional districts. But I was here really to, to let them know what my concerns were in the town of Cutler Bay as it related to the redistricting of, of where I live. Uh, right now we have uh, four state representative districts that cut right through the town of Cutler Bay. Uh, it's, you know, so we have four representatives for one, a, a town of 40,000. Uh, we have three congressional seats. Uh, so that needs to change. In addition to community boundaries, attendees ask members to carefully consider the unique diversity of South Florida's multicultural communities. I think they need to you know, very much keep in mind the fact that, and I'm speaking you know, specifically about Hispanics in this case, but certainly there's other minority communities as well. Um, this is essentially a, a majority minority community, and in terms of Hispanics, where uh, approximately two-thirds of the, the uh, Miami-Dade population is Hispanic, and yet uh, in the uh, state senate in particular, uh, fewer than half of our state senators are actually Hispanic. For those Florida residents who were not able to attend a meeting in person, there are still many ways to submit ideas to the legislature, including various resources available on FloridaRedistricting.org, My District Builder, Twitter, Facebook, and blogs.